So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Com Again. I'm Shannon. This week, we're going to be going over from Ghostbusters Omnibus Volume 1 from IDW Publishing. We are going to be talking about the first story in this book, which is Ghostbusters The Other Side. In this book, we see a group of mobsters who turn ghosts. They're trying to maintain control over the the bridge between realms uh, the ghostbusters come in and attack and of course one of them being the enforcer possesses vankman and removes vankman's soul from his body uh, he's not returned in time and so vankman's soul ends up getting trapped in purgatory it's up to, to the ghostbusters to try and uh, figure it out and try and bring him back but before they do the bosses order a hit out on the Ghostbusters. The bosses are Al Capone, uh, Bugsy, Siegel, um, and a couple others. Uh, I can't remember their names right now, but you know, Vankman come or the uh, possessed body of Vankman wakes up, and they he leads them out of the firehouse to an ambush. Uh, the poltergeists have real machine guns, and they fill. The Ghostbusters full of lead, starting with Winston. Here's a nice little scene of the Ghostbusters laying dead. This forces them into Purgatory, where they're chased after by a group of spirits who are charged by the mob to destroy their souls in order to maintain control over the bridge. So that these souls can get back to the realm of the living and... Which is how ghosts come about in the first place. They are eventually... Uh, well, first, the uh, possessed body of Vankman. Um, he quits the mob, the ghost mob. And he's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm working for myself now. It's been a long time since I got laid. I need to go get some women. The, uh, the Ghostbusters end up having to fight these uh, spirits. And Spangler ends up losing control. He just pulverizes this old lady's ghost. And eventually, they're forced to retreat. And they're chased up a mountain where a demon is guarding over. And in comes Vankman, who's pretty much a superhero in Purgatory because he's not dead. So, he's not, he's not forced to obey the same rules that the other spirits are. He, uh, he can fly and he can... He can, he can kill these demons and st stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, very humorous. He does show that he's very compassionate in this by saving a, the soul of a young boy who's about to be devoured by one of the demons. For, the Ghostbusters are forced to work with the spirits of Elliot Ness, Jelly Bryce, and J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you get J. Edgar Hoover who <laughs> Vankman is, he's just uh, <laughs> he's giving J. Edgar Hoover a ton of shit he's, take it easy Eddie Ray probably didn't recognize you without your dress <laughs> uh, Hoover just kind of mumbles uh, I'm starting to file on you <laughs> and it re it's revealed that the former FBI agents are working for heaven. Um, there's supposed to be an equal number of demons and angels guarding over the uh, bridge. Um, but since the mob took it over, heaven's trying to pretty much reclaim it. And eventually they are able to uh, defeat the mob. And uh, the demons who are in charge. And in return, heaven... Gives them their bodies back. 
you know, they, they first, the first thing they do is they go take a shower because the mob had, had their enforcers sink them in uh, the river. <laughs> so when they uh, were revived by heaven, uh, they were in the middle of the uh, river and the East river. Um, Ray says, I can't believe you guys dumped us in the East River. Do you know how many showers it took to get the smell out of my hair? <laughs> the mob's just like, uh, old habits die hard, I guess. And uh, they're just like, not anymore. And they blast them and <clears throat> trap them. And that's about it. It's a good read. Um, I don't know if I like the aspect of them uh, dying and being brought back to life. That was kind of a, uh, uh, that was, that was kind of a cop out way of doing it, but I really like IDW's take on the Ghostbusters. Um, the story was very humorous. It was very reminiscent of the real, go of the actual Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Ghostbusters, um, and even the real Ghostbusters, for that matter. Um, I'll give this a 8 out of 10. Next time, the next story I'll be reviewing from this omnibus will be Ghostbusters Displaced Aggression. I'll probably be reading that tonight. And I'll do a review on it later this week. But for now... Uh, if you want, check it out. Uh, you can find them on Amazon, your local comic book shop, wherever. Ghostbusters Omnibus, Volume 1 by IDW Publishing. Or just go out and pick up the uh, the actual newsstand editions of The Other Side. I'm Shannon. Take care. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.